Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Did You Know featuring Zin Zhao. A quick reminder to please follow me on my Facebook and Twitter page, both are Red Mercy LOL. The description below contains the links. Also, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and without any further ado, let us jump straight into his abilities. Zin Zhao's Q ability makes his auto attacks have a slightly different animation and the end result of this is making his auto attacks very slightly faster. Keep this in mind next time you are attacking your enemy champion. Did you know the 3 talent strike can critically strike? But only the base auto attack damage will get multiplied and then the bonus damage that comes from using the Q ability will get added on top of it. Don't forget that his Q is an auto attack reset. This means that you should use it right after a normal auto attack to get the full maximum damage out of it. A very useful trick to do with Zin is to charge on a minion beside a champion that you want to target and ulti them backwards to your teammates or to your turrets. If Zin Zhao is blinded while having his 3 talent strike active, the attacks will still miss and cause 0 damage, however the stacks will still be consumed and the knockup will still occur but deal 0 damage. An important thing to remember is that the passive challenge does not work on structures such as the turrets or the inhibitors, meaning that you will not be able to reduce the base armor of these structures. Unlike Zin Zhao's passive, his Q ability will deal more damage to turrets, however keep in mind that you cannot knock up the turrets. Keep in mind, challenge also works off of your 3 talent strikes, which is your Q, your charge, which is your E ability, and also your auto attacks. This is important to remember to properly put down your charge in order to use your ultimate properly and also assassinate the proper target. Also, a quick tip is to remember that 3 talent strike reduces the cooldown on all of his skills except for the 3 talent strike itself. This is why you want to make sure you auto attack with this ability last when you use all your other skills. Zin Zhao's W ability, Battle Cry, has zero cast time. This means that it will never interrupt you while you are running slash chasing or if you are attacking an enemy champion. So don't be scared to use this when you're in a heated situation. In fact, you probably want to use this. 3 Talent Strike will pop spell shields on any of the 3 auto attacks, not just the knockup, as opposed to someone like Riven who will only pop a spell shield on her third Q. A very important thing and something that seems quite unlikely to happen is that your W will actually work on turrets in the sense that it will still give you the heal effect on the third auto attack. Don't forget that your ultimate won't knock back units you are attacking or that have the challenge passive on them. This is why his ultimate is very useful to isolate one target and focus him down assassinating them very quickly without having anyone else try to interrupt it. A typical combo that you want to use with the Zin Zhao is to first charge in with your E, use your ultimate since it does more damage based on the current HP of the enemy champion, and then you want to use your W for the auto attack speed and then reset the auto attack with Q and get the 3 auto attacks going that will ultimately reduce the cooldown of your other 3 skills that you just finished using. Alright guys, let us jump into some really cool facts and lore about Zin Zhao. Did you know that Zin Zhao was designed by someone named Jeeves, who also made champions like Garen, Urgot, Trundle, Kennen, Misfortune, and Gragas? Zin Zhao was released concurrently with the release of Season 1. He is voiced by someone named Richard Epker, who is a very popular anime and cartoon voice actor. Did you know that Zin Zhao's auto attack range is 175, making it 50 range longer than the standard melee champion who obviously has a range of 125 on their auto attacks? This puts him in the group of Jarvan, Wukong, Fizz, Hecarim, and Nautilus who all have longer auto attack ranges than the traditional melee champion. In Chinese, Zin Zhao is written as Zhao Zin, since Chinese names tend to write family names first. In Chinese, Zin means trust. Zhao is a unique character in Chinese and is only used as a last name. He has the same family name as Zhao Yun, who was a famous general during the Three Kingdoms era and who Zin was probably based off of. Zin is the only champ to reference Asian culture yet not belong to Ionia. Zin Zhao's joke Find me an immovable object and I'll put this question to rest. References to the question, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? In the German version of League of Legends, Zin Zhao's joke translates to find me an immovable object so that I can bury you under it. Imperial Zin references the famed Chinese general as mentioned before, Zhao Yun. Here's some very interesting lore of Zin Zhao. Prior to the formation of the League, Noxus was renowned for its spectacle called the Fleshing. It was a gladiatorial event with a cruel twist. As a fighter won matches, his number of opponents, generally prisoners of war, fought simultaneously would increase. 
This meant eventual death for every contender, but with unparalleled glory. Xin Zhao, known then as Vicero, was slated to face 300 soldiers, nearly six times the previous record. This was clearly meant to be his final match. Jarvan II, hearing of this unprecedented feat, infiltrated the arena to offer Xin an alternative, serve Demacia, and punish those who ultimately sentenced him to death in exchange for his freedom. Xin Zhao accepted, astonished that a king would risk his own life on his behalf. Under the cover of a prearranged Demacian assault on Noxus, Jarvan liberated Xin Zhao and his 300 opponents. During their retreat, Xin Zhao took a poisoned dart meant for Jarvan. This act of loyalty from a man who vowed no allegiance earned Xin Zhao a spot at his side until the day the king died. Now, in the service of his son, Jarvan III, Xin Zhao is stepping into a new ring, the Fields of Justice, to fight for his adopted country and to honor the legacy of the man who gave purpose to his life. This means that his quote, I may be outnumbered. But not even the odds can stand against me. Is possibly referencing his fights in the arena. Vicero Zin references to his lore as just mentioned as well, where he fought in the Noxian arena, the Fleshing. Winged Hussar Zin was made to celebrate the launch of LOL in the Polish servers. Commando Zin is a reference to the Imperial Guard from Warhammer 40k. Warring Kingdoms Zin is a homage to Koiz, which is a Japanese video game publisher design of Zhao Yun in Dynasty Warriors. Alright guys, that marks the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Zen Zhao. Please don't forget to throw in a like if you enjoyed this episode and also please follow me on my Facebook and Twitter fan pages, both Red Mercy LOL. I'd really appreciate it. So please don't forget to write in the comments below which champion you want to see next. As you can see, this one was suggested by a user in the previous episode. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time. Peace.